What is up everybody? It is morning and I'm so tired. We're actually here in my tent and it's been raining all night. Man, I hope everything's okay outside. Let's go check it out. Man, I'm, I'm so glad it stopped raining, but it's so cold outside my tent. Oh, oh, so cold. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe if we get some food, get our body warmed up. Come to think of it, where is the food? Oh no. Have you guys seen my food? What's up, Noah? Bro, it was so epic. I was hitting the slopes all night. I just came up here to rest and I figured, bro, I'd, I'd call and check in. How's it going by you? Yeah, Big Steve. Um, right now, probably not a good time, bro. Bro, you look super upset. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Well, Big Steve, um, I can't find my food. I can't find my food anywhere. I can't find my food. I can't find my food. I can't find my food. So what I'm hearing you say is, you can't find your food. Have you, have you maybe checked inside your tent? Yeah, Big Steve, I checked my tent. Just came out of my tent. Okay, you just came out of your tent. Uh, have, you, have you checked that weird looking food right there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. My food is ruined. My food is ruined. It got wet. I left it outside overnight and my food is ruined. My life is over. Oh my goodness me. Oh no. Oh guys. Big Steve, you, you, just, you just tell my mom I love her, okay man? What? Why would I tell your mom that? You're being so dramatic, bro. No, I'm not, Big Steve. Oh man. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, man. Heart slowing down. Oh my goodness, bro. You are being so dramatic. You probably just ate like 20 minutes ago. Just calm down. Hey, Steve, how do you want me to calm down, bro? My food is ruined. I have nothing to eat. Noah, Noah, Noah. You know what I'm about to ask you, right? You about to ask to tell me a story? Of course I am. So? Can I? All right, Big Steve, I'm totally ready for your story, but real quick, before you tell that, I'm gonna light this fire because I'm so cold. Great idea, man. I was super cold after hitting the slopes last night, and I went into the lodge and they had a giant fire right in there. So go ahead, start your fire. All right, man, like pretty much all my other stories, this story starts in the Bible, bro. And it's about a time where Jesus was down here. He was hanging out with all his homeboys and he did two of his coolest miracles ever. He fed thousands and thousands of people with just like a couple of fish and like a loaf of bread. He did what? Yeah, I know, he fed all those people, but that's not even the story I'm about to tell you. What I'm saying like takes place after that, like Jesus then like started walking on water. He did what? Yeah, bro, like walked on top of water, like with his feet, no boats, no swimmies, no nothing, just him, his feet, and probably some clothes. Bro, that is so insanely cool, I can't even begin to tell you. Yeah. Those would be some awesome stories, but that's not even the story I'm telling you, man. Just know for now, Jesus is so sick, bro. Well, duh. Yeah, so Jesus did those super cool stuff. He walked across the water, he fed all the people, and then he just disappears, bro. Not like, not like a magic trick, like he disappeared. He actually just kind of walked away and he walked all the way to the other side of the lake. Like he was like, man, I just need to get alone with God right now. Like I was with these people all day. I was helping them, but now I want to go with my father. So he just goes away and doesn't tell anybody where he went. So all his disciples who they finished eating and they looked up and saw him walking across the lake and they looked everywhere for him. And they finally found him. They were like, Rabbi. And Rabbi just means teacher. So they were saying, hey, teacher, because Jesus was teaching them so much stuff. So they were like, yo, Rabbi, where have you been? Where'd you go? Why didn't you tell us that you were leaving? Well, Big Steve, that is a pretty good question. I mean, he kind of just disappeared. Yeah. That is true. The Bible actually talks about a few times where Jesus just had to get away. He had to go and pray and get with God and, and kind of recharge. Like, I can't imagine how tiring that must have been to do miracles like that, to feed so many people, to minister to so many people. So sometimes Jesus just had to go to his father so he could recharge and get some energy back. Well, that makes total sense. 
They need to just give him some space. Yeah, I agree, bro. But the disciples didn't do that. They didn't give Jesus any time to recharge. They tracked him down, they found him, and when they found him, they just started asking all of these questions, and they were like, hey Jesus, where'd you go? Hey Jesus, why'd you leave us? Hey Jesus, do you wanna come back to the people? Hey Jesus, hey Jesus, hey Jesus. And Jesus stops them, and he's like, guys, settle down. Like, you're not asking me all these questions because you're really curious. You didn't come all the way here to find me because you wanted me to help you with something. You came all the way here because you ate all of the food. You ate all the fish. You ate all the bread. And now you're hungry. And that is why you came here. And the disciples were like, okay, Jesus. But why is that a bad thing? Well, yeah, Big Steve. I mean, they were hungry. Why is that a bad thing? Well, that's a fair question. And this is how Jesus answered. He looks back at him and he goes, well, stop looking for food that spoils. How about you look for food that lives forever? How about you eat something that will never leave you hungry again? Well, what does that even mean? Were they looking for the wrong food or what? And that's a fair thought, man, because they came looking for food. Jesus tells them they're looking for the wrong food, but then, Jesus clarifies and he says, hey, listen, I am the bread of life. This is what Jesus said. So Jesus said he is the bread of life. He said, you came here looking for food that I might have when you should have come looking here for me. Jesus was saying, hey, stop looking for things that are gonna make you feel good in the moment. And how about you start chasing after the one guy, Jesus, who can give you everything you would ever need. And Jesus said, if you come chasing after me, you will never go hungry, you will never go thirsty, and you will have everything you would ever need. But if you keep chasing after food and fish and bread, you're gonna be hungry just tomorrow. So are we just not supposed to eat regular bread anymore or what? No, man, it's, it's cool. You can eat whatever you want. But what Jesus was saying was, if you keep looking for temporary things, you're only gonna be temporarily fulfilled. But if you look for something eternal, you'll be eternally fulfilled. Stop focusing on the wrong things and start focusing on the right things. And that's Jesus. That kind of makes sense, Big Steve. So sometimes we go to God to see what we can get out of God. And that's really what they were doing. They were being humans, but they went to Jesus to see what they could get from Jesus. And God's saying, don't come to me just thinking of what you can get. Come to me because you want to be with me. And that's how we should go to God. We should go to God to hang out with God. We should go to God to want to be with God. God and the cool part is it kind of goes hand in hand. God says, the more you are with me, the easier it's gonna be for me to bless your life. In other words, if we're with God, we're gonna get blessed anyway, but it has to be about the heart. The heart has to make us wanna be with God and not just what we can get from God. Okay, Big Steve, so I should probably just stop worrying about this food, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. Stop worrying about the food and maybe just worry about hanging out with God because Jesus is the bread of life anyway. And like I just said, if you're hanging out with him, he's gonna make sure everything you need, you have. The real question, bro, is do you believe in Jesus? Of course I believe in Jesus, bro. We just talked about this. Well, if you really believe in him, then you gotta believe in what he said. So go to him. Pray to him, hang out. It's a fact that you cannot survive very long without food or water. And if you're with Jesus, he's gonna make sure that you survive. So go to him, pray to him, believe in him, and allow him to show you what you need to do to make your situation better. You're right, Big Steve. I'm so focused on these material things like food and stuff like this, but really, I should be asking Jesus, what do you want me to do next? And trusting in the fact that he's going to provide, right? That is exactly what you need to do right now. Bro, you took that lesson so well. Yeah, Big Steve, I tried, man. So what now? Well, now is, is where you put the action to the words that we just spoke. You know, we talked about you believing in Jesus, trusting Jesus, wanting to be closer to Jesus. Now's your chance to do that. Go pray. 
Talk to him. Let him know. Say, hey, Jesus, I just want to follow you and you alone, Jesus. I want to be attuned. And that really just means I want to know, Jesus, what you want me to do. Whether it's to find food or get out of a jungle or maybe even if it's just needing help on a school test or something. Jesus wants to help you, bud, but you gotta be with him first. You're right, Big Steve. Okay, let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for all that you do. Jesus, I am here to seek you and you alone. I trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, I kinda have this new piece and I also smell something. This leaf was so close to the fire and it, it kinda got cooked. This is definitely dinner. Oh man, God provided. Now I have dinner and I'm not gonna go hungry. Man, he provided. God is so good. Hey, don't you guys forget either. If you would just seek God first, just really put him first and ask him what he wants in your life and follow his footsteps um, and, follow his, and follow his path for your life, he'll provide for you just like he provided for me. Man, I'm so grateful for this, and you will be too if you just follow what God wants. I think it's time for the big idea. All right, Noah, I'll take it over from here, man. You go enjoy your dinner and get some good rest. But for all you guys, I'm Big Steve, and it is time for the big idea. Go ahead and get up on your feet. Stand up. Yeah. No, I'm talking to you too. Stand up, stand up. Man, and in one hand, hold a piece of bread. And in the other hand, hold another piece of bread because Jesus is the living bread. Let's put it together, make a Jesus sandwich. Go ahead and bop, guys, because on the count of three, Jesus is the living bread. Are you guys ready? Here we go. In one, two, three. Jesus is the living bread. Man, that's so good, all you guys. I'm so glad you had fun with us today, but that's all the time we got for right now. Until next time, bye-bye.